And my guess number two is joining me right now as they prepare to perform at the Green Lantern in a couple of hours. Grits and Soul is joining me right now. How's it going? Thank you. Good, good. Thank y'all for being on the show. Um, taking time. Thanks, thanks for having us. I appreciate y'all taking time off your preparation for your um, set early uh, uh, coming up in a couple of hours. I've had a very busy day from what I've seen. Yeah, we have. We're a little, a little ragged at the moment, but we're just we're gearing up for this uh, next show and looking forward to that. We hadn't played the Green Lantern before, so it'll be a lot of fun. Green Lantern is definitely one of my favorite places to enjoy live music. And um, since y'all are on these airways right now, I will be there. Uh, oh, okay. In person. Oops. So, uh, now, oh, good. So well, now, we'll look forward to that. <laughs> so, uh, um, I seen y'all perform for the first time at the um, uh, Bluegrass Barbecue Fest. And, yeah. And um, that was quite a, uh, a festival, you know, if you're into the barbecue or as you like to call it, the queue. Uh, That's right. So, <laughs> I'm in with you. Everybody loves we, we Q. We love Q. <laughs> Everybody loves Q. So uh, I want to I want to start this interview off by talking about the name of the group, and I hear an interesting story behind it. Uh, would you mind uh, explaining the meaning behind the name Grits and Soul? Yeah. Um, so I'm from Mississippi originally. And um, John and I met living in Jackson and probably like, I don't know, maybe about a year before I met him, I was at this record store um, kind of digging around uh, in the soul music because um, I used to work for Malico Records down there. And um, I found this James Brown album that was called Grits and Soul. And he was like kind of between contracts. It's a, an instrumental album. It's really, really good. Um, but I just thought it was a cool name, and I kind of held on to it. And uh, then once I met John and we started, you know, writing music together and we, you know, put a band together and everything, uh, we used the name. And um, so it's just kind of, I don't know. It represents a, a lot about what we're about. We always say we uh, spread the gospel of Southern Sound. That is awesome. And, you know, GRITS, that there's an acronym behind GRITS, Girl Ways in the South. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I guess you represent the GRITS and he represents the soul. I mean, it could be either way. I mean, however y'all want to go with that. So, um, right. So y'all, y'all mentioned Mississippi, and I am, uh-huh. fa- I am familiar with that state because I was born there. I was born yeah. in Tupelo, um, birth, uh, birthplace of the king of rock and roll, Mr. Elvis Presley. That's right. Um, <laughs> and, you know, my parents, once upon a time, they went to college in Mississippi at the Ho- Holy oh, Springs. Okay. So they they born in Georgia, then they moved around a lot, but we, we do have some yeah. Mississippi ties. So um, Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I love seeing people out of Mississippi getting to <laughs> succeed and you know get their gifts out there so uh that's right me too that's so, why i was uh looking forward to being on your show i thought that was pretty cool i was ready to support you absolutely so um y'all perform earlier today and y'all preparing for tonight uh for those that haven't had a chance to see grits and soul perform in person how would you best describe the type of music that y'all do? Um, well, we've been, we've been, well, and I wouldn't say dabbling, but we're both um, big fans of the blues and big fans of soul music, like we mentioned there earlier. And uh, we started out playing, yeah, and country music, too. It's kind of a meld of those things. Um, we started out playing pretty much all acoustic music for the last, 
I don't know, four or five years, but of the last couple of years, we've uh, went back to where we both kind of started our, you know, love of music with, the, you know, bluesy stuff, and then for me, I, I got into blues and country music and all kinds of other things, so we're, tonight we're electric guitar, and hopefully down the road I'm going to have a drummer and a bass player if I could ever get time to practice. <laughs> all the good drummers and bass players all have a lot of gigs. Yeah, they're pretty busy. <laughs> Especially on the weekends. I definitely... Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. So, I want to give a special shout-out to Jen Tackett, uh, who booked this show. I'm very good friends with her. Oh, yeah. She's, she's awesome. And, uh, I yeah. Know she, she is awesome. So, uh, she's also a singer-songwriter as well. She's probably one of my favorite entertaining guests. Uh, you know, she she's she very cool. She's very good people, so... I'm very she sure is. she'll be there in attendance at the Green Lantern Bar uh, tonight as well. So, um, do y'all have any, like, favorite moments, favorite memories in the history of Grits and Soul that stood out to y'all that made y'all feel like, I think we got something going here, you know, with this music thing. <laughs> have any, any favorite moments that stands out to you all? I know for me... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think we both kind of thought of the same festival. Um, there's a great festival, <clears throat> well, actually a series of festivals that happen in northern Florida, and um, it's at the Spirit of Swanee Park um, in Live Oak, and um, they've got festivals throughout the year, and we've played um, uh, probably about three or four years down there. Um, it's such a cool place it's really kind of magical and i feel like that was the first time like i don't know we i really felt that vote of confidence from you know the audience and uh, you know also from the people who booked us and everything um and i really felt like we had kind of found our people because even though it was like there was a lot of bluegrass and jam bands and you know there's one year we played um uh, Magnolia Fest, the trucks headlined, and you know it just all—I don't know—it just all seemed to kind of come into place for us there. Um, yeah, the whole vibe of that place is amazing, and it—it it brings the best out of you too. Right. And uh, um, yeah, that's immediately what came to my mind with that festival in Florida. And it's, it's, a, it's one of the best venues I've ever been to, to play or see music. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. And, um, you know, you're in a forest of live oaks, and it's who knows how many acres, you know, full of those beautiful live oaks with the hanging moss and everything. And, um, you know, we've seen, like, John Prine has played and listened to Williams and, you know, all these people that are, Brandy Carlisle, the Avett brothers, I mean, they've all headlined down there while we've been playing, and so it's, uh, it's really cool to, you know, be a part of something like that, and truly, like, when I think you find your audience and find your people, I think that's one of the most validating things, um, that, that you can have as an artist. That's the beauty of music is just getting people together and just enjoying uh, quite the experience. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy yeah. the moment. And me being a yeah. me being a quote unquote local music supporter, that's that's what I enjoy is to hear the music and actually interacting with these musicians and uh, just to, just to ex hear their excitement and just like thank you for being on the show you know that to to hit to have that music play and, and, and have people listen that's definitely had to be a great feeling for any artist of any genre just to know that you know you you is you're part of someone's special night special moment yeah. you know just yeah and we also have noticed, you know, as, as we've both been musically, like, returning back to our roots and everything. You know, I went to the University of Memphis and 
studied music business and took a lot of like Memphis music classes and that's something that's always like I don't know just stuck with me and you know when John and I decided to I don't know do I don't know do I want to say like a little bit more soul searching in our songwriting and um just you know our music um I feel like audiences are like the reaction is a little different and I feel like we've kind of tapped into something good you know and our chemistry and everything um that kind of resonate with people and to have folks like you that you know support support artists and you know let us have a little bit of airtime and say hello to everybody who might, might not have heard us you know that's it's a it's a great thing to have those connections with people very, very true. Again, you can check out Grits and Soul at the Green Lantern Bar tonight. Uh, doors open at 9. Music starts at 10. And also included on the show is 49 Winchester and Dan Khan. So yeah. um, you got a variety of music to keep things going on your opening weekend of the summer. Go check them out. Oh, and by the way, cover price is $5. Oh, so yeah. five dollars. So <laughs> if you ain't got nothing to do, if you ain't got nothing to do on a Saturday night, which I'm gonna assume a lot of people don't, uh, yeah. go head over to the Green Lantern Bar and uh, check out these terrific musicians. And before I let y'all go, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, promote your your links? Where can people hear your music, and where can people check y'all out on social media? Okay, um, you can find uh, everything you'd ever want to know at gritsandsoul.com. It's all spelled out. That'll be your uh, portal to our music and videos, a little bit of news about, you know, what we've done um, and what is coming up on our calendar. Um, Yeah, we've got some Spotify links, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff on our website. So gritsandsoul.com is where to go. Well, I want to thank you all both for taking the time doing this interview. Um, Enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, I'll see you all in about an hour and a half from now. (laughs) Yeah, thank you. Look forward to it. Yeah. Y'all take it easy, and uh, I'll see you all soon.